Instagram. Well, Sam. most definitely on that, you know, because um, I, that's most of all what I want to bring. You know, I come from the era where lyrics and everything do matter. It's okay to love somebody, you know. It's okay to, you know, um, weigh your option. It's okay to dance. It's okay to laugh and have fun. So that's mostly what my music is about. Uh, dancing and a lot of love. So that's what you're going to get from La Di Da. Alright, so when are we expect to uh, get some music in the streets, get some CDs out? Um, what you got going? Actually, um, the there's two singles, The Dance for Love, what I was um, talking about, or what is playing in the background. And uh, we have How Do You Feel. Those two singles are already out and about and uh, flowing. We have them going on in um, London. Uh, gotta love London. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, and we have a like a techno song coming out, which I think is really hot. It's a dance song as well. So I really think this is going to be an eclectic, well put together album that my fans should be able to enjoy. We're going to flip this side with this, you see you oh, oh, don't mean to cut you off, but this is one of, this is how you feel that's playing in the background now. So, the other one in this song is, is What's Out. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear you. Thank you, thank you. I'll try. Um, I am wearing now what you call a, a, a oriental piece. I, they call them all uh, perucos. So I'm rocking this and I'm. And it's real casual because I have a sandal loop, you know, going on, which is matching the, matching the sandal, which is matching the earrings. So. Just a little something about real casual and comfortable. Yeah, well, being a member of VIP Diva style, and you want those little things in your heart, you can get your bounty. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm, I'm most definitely, though, gonna uh, grace the page with the new uh, looks. <laughs> Shout out to Facebook. Y'all need to look her up, man. It's hot. It's hot. Oh, also want to put um, shouts out to VIP Diva Assets. Um, my new accessory uh, line that I have teamed up with a couple of designers out in LA. And uh, I now have, I have those in my boutique. So if you want to order any fashion, get at me. Wow. Man, you just busy, man. Your hand in every pot. I'm trying. I mean, it's been. <laughs> it's been a long time coming, though. It's been a long time coming, and I, you know, I know you know that as well. So it's been a long time coming. Yeah. If you don't know, this is my sister. <laughs> I love her dearly, and I love her. All right, well, this MP, I'm back on. I have a few questions. When are you going to Atlanta to show these people up, like Nicki Minaj and all these wannabe stars? Because they, they stars, but they still can sing. Mm -hmm. They still have to use auto-tune. Uh -huh. And yeah. you don't have to use auto-tune. Right. You don't have to do all these things, what I'm what I'm saying. Right. You are the best already, right? I pretty much. Um, I, I'm real seasoned in this game. I want to say that I'm a new artist because I've been underground. So, you know, yeah, to everybody else, I'm a new artist. But I have been, you know, rocking the, the stage. I have been, you know, performing, writing, and singing for um, as long as I can remember. So this is this is 
So you're not so you're not an amateur, right? No, that's not a beginner. So you saying that off any beat you can just go off and make a tune and go with it? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, I did a lot of writing, like I said, I wasn't um, known, but a lot of underground music that a lot of people made in Texas, you know, I was responsible for hooks and I was responsible for writing the majority of the song to even make a song be the song, so, yeah, I do that. So, I mean, I'm just ready for the just for you to hear, be the number one on the billboards right now, you know? I, you know what? I, I am so with you on that. I, I so want to be number one on the billboards. Countdown, um, selling 20 million CDs. Okay, well, know. what about your London music? I hear that you're not number one, but you're number 87. You know what? Number 87 is great because just a couple of years ago, I was uh, nowhere you know, just on the ground. So number eighty-seven is great. For me. <laughs> so by you think by you taking that move to San Diego, you think that will help your career in the music game? Um, being here in San Diego has helped my career. Period. Um, it opened up the door for me you know, to um, be into fashion and to do what I plan to do with my salon and then open um, avenues for me to be in the place to be, you know. I don't have to do or go anywhere else, so I'm already in the place to be. I mean, because you come from all the way from Dallas, Texas, where they live, where they just yeah. do their music, where, yeah. where you got everybody just making music, yeah. so. But see, that that's the difference, you know. I was already making music when... You had to sing when you had to know how to write and when you had to know how to read. You know, everybody sings, everybody raps nowadays, but they really not talking about nothing. I ain't trying to be funny or talk down on nobody's music, but I'm just, I'm just talking about me. What I'm bringing to the game, and I'm bringing, um, I'm bringing uh, the type of music and flavor for all ages, for, you know, for the nation. You know, it's all good. Okay. Well, back to your next round, because we're going to keep filming you and keep doing you until everyone in America can hear you, not alone London in the UK. I'm trying to do all the continents. Okay. Thank Bye. You. Thank you, MP.